Hello, everybody. We're going to get started soon. I'm going to let a few people trickle in. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Good morning. I'm just going to wait for a couple more people. Awesome. I'm only going to show mine. Um, if everybody could mute themselves, I'm going to put myself as this. Everybody, please mute yourselves um, if you are not. I'm going to have to mute everybody. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry guys, I had to mute a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Good to see you all. Thanks for coming today. I'm going to pop up. I still have a couple more people popping in. So as always, guys, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave your um, comments in the chat. I don't have Carly here today, so I'm going to look at your questions at the end of the session, but feel free to leave them all there. Good morning, Facebook. Okay, so we've got a bunch of you guys on. Awesome. Good morning. Good morning. We've got an extra large coffee here today because it's going to be a pretty jam-packed session. So for those of you guys that have no idea, we do have a brand new program. It's called Hub 21, which I have behind us. So if you guys haven't dove deep into this, um, I highly recommend it, especially after today. And if you would really like to follow along, I'm going to recommend that maybe you guys open up your browsers and maybe hopefully follow around with me. So I'm going to put the URL in the chat here. So it's my hub, my dot hub. 21.ca. So you guys all have access to this um, through your uh, Century 21 login. There's a whole bunch of awesome tools on this. So today we're going to be going through C21 Present. Um, I have sent you guys videos in the last few months um, from Campus 21 for Breakfast Club. I don't know if any of you guys have had a chance to actually dive into it, um, but there is a CRM on there. There's a presentation center. You can edit your website. You guys all have brand new websites as well. So feel free to go check those out as well. It's your first name dash last name dot c21 dot ca. There's a whole bunch of lead generation tools on there. You can customize that. Um, there's also a place where you can do ads. If you guys want to get into Facebook ads, lead generation, there's a great marketing center in there as well. So really dive deep into this hub 21 guys because it's a really great platform and uh, typically i don't do much um of these tools but i got to give it to them um the new moxie works program is great so log into your my.hub21.ca and um, take a look at it so we're going to dive in deep now 
we're going to share our screen. Perfect. I'm going to put everyone at the bottom here. Perfect. Okay, sorry, I got to put a, me in the corner here if you guys can't see my screen. <laughs> okay, awesome, guys. So we're going to start off. Um, I'm going to show you guys. I have talked about CMAs in the past. This is something that I really think is a great tool for you guys to be using to either use at your listing presentation. Um, it's an amazing way to stay in touch with your database and your past clients. So if you haven't talked to any of your past buyers in a long time, maybe it's been a year, a couple years, this is a really great, easy value add piece that you guys can be using to stay in touch with any past clients to let them know what their house is currently worth. Um, maybe you went on a listing presentation, they haven't listed their house yet, maybe it was six months ago and you want to give them an idea of what their house is worth. So the CMA, either mail out, video, email, whatever way you're going to um, give the CMA to your clients. If you're going to do something to stay in touch with your clients, I highly recommend you guys get into the habit of doing this twice a year to really just build that relationship with everybody. So on here, I am on the Google Drive. If you guys um, have ever checked out, go to C21 Percy Fulton Files. You do need to log in through your uh, Century 21 email address to access these. Um, but if you slide down to Systems for Success Training Packages, um, I have done this one in the past um, with the Stratus, our MLS system, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a much easier platform um, using the Century 21 platform. So you'll see here CMA for past clients. Once I open it up, we're not going to go through this today, but I just want to show you guys the objective. So the objective of creating these CMAs, um, other than your listing presentations, of course, but the whole objective of the CMA mail out to your past clients is to really build a superior referral system by establishing a loyal client base through consistent quality client communications before, during, and after each transaction. The concept of mailing a CMA to past clients is to create value and establish a reliable and dependable database of clients that will not only use you for their real estate needs, but are also going to refer you to their family, friends, and colleagues. So that is really the exact reason why you guys are doing this. It's not just to like send a CMA, tell your clients what it's worth, but it's to just keep that relationship going and hopefully build a referral network with their network as well. So this is just, instead of just sending a postcard or um, like a market update newsletter that everybody gets. This is all customized to your client and they feel special. It's an easy conversation for us real estate agents to have. Um, it's an excuse to talk to people. So definitely get this into um, habit. Um, this document that I have here um, provides an example of a valuable client communication touch point. So in order to execute this technique, you're going to be required to utilize an up to date and complete database. So something that has your clients' names, the mailing addresses, postal codes, email addresses, and phone numbers of all your previous contacts. So you cannot do this CMA for all your past clients if you don't have an organized database. So if you're still on the fence and you're trying to organize your business, get your database done and then let's get your CMAs figured out. Um, your clients already hopefully receive a monthly newsletter from you guys, greetings, cards, all of that, or they should be. Um, but this is a touch point that I would highly recommend sending through snail mail or video. The um, reason I mentioned this versus an email is because only 10% of your emails are actually going to be opened by your past clients, whereas about 80 to 90% of your mail, physical piece of mail, will be opened. So if you can, I would highly recommend doing this CMA and printing it out to mail out to your clients because then they're going to read it. Um, I always recommend doing this two times a year in March before the spring market and August. So right now is a great time to start getting these out because the fall market's about to hit. So you may send this CMA out to somebody. You may shock one of your past clients to let them know that they've made $200,000 off their purchase that they made with you. Um, and they may even start to consider thinking about selling. So these are really two good and point, important times to be doing your CMAs. And it's something to keep your business organized. So every March, you know that you're doing a CMA. And every August, you know that you're doing a CMA. So put these in your calendar. 
Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys a quick video. Um, it will lag a little bit if you are watching on Facebook. I apologize, um, but I do. This is just an introduction to the platform that I'm going to introduce you guys to today, which is Hub 21. You're a real estate agent. Every day you work hard to help your clients and provide them with the very best experience, including accurate and up-to-date real estate information. But today, your clients come to you with information from the internet. Some of it's right and some of it's wrong. To address these misconceptions quickly and stand out as a real estate expert, it's critically important to have a presentation tool that's directly connected to your MLS and allows you to speak intelligently about the market as it exists right now. Clients may alter their home search requirements on the spot. Comps may change status, so you need a tool that's flexible enough to adjust on the fly. Because Moxie Present is connected directly to your MLS, you'll always have the most recent listing data combined with your expertise in a compelling real estate presentation. Show your clients up to the minute market conditions and pull up any listing live and on the go. Customize each presentation with video, trend charts, your brokerage branding, marketing materials, and driver commute times for a client's work address. All this flexibility helps you tell the story you need to attract and win more business. Now let's take a look at how you can use Moxie Present with a potential seller. Imagine you're giving a listing presentation to a couple. They tell you a neighbor's home you didn't include is comparable to their own. They know the owners and have been inside the home. Instead of an awkward situation where it's your word against theirs, Moxie Present lets you consult your client in a meaningful way. Because you're connected to the MLS wherever you are, just pull up the details of the home. Show the couple that the home has an extra 800 square feet and a view, which is why you chose not to include it as a comp. After reviewing the property together, Moxie Present allows you to make an informed decision that you both are comfortable with. And if the comp is comparable, just add it to your presentation with a click of a button. Without missing a beat, your entire presentation is updated. You've successfully consulted your client by providing valuable real estate expertise. They now understand how to price their home to sell and you're one step closer to getting the listing. Now let's look at how you can use Moxie Present to attract an in-market buyer. Sarah is an agent who wants to connect with in-market buyers in her neighborhood. After creating a presentation highlighting local market trends, she shares it on Facebook. Later, John, one of Sarah's contacts, sees Sarah's post and views the presentation she shared. Scrolling through, John sees active listings, a video tour Sarah added to the presentation, and custom pages like client testimonials and her brokerage's marketing collateral, plus unique information John can't get anywhere else, like actual driving commute time from each listing to downtown where he works. John has been thinking about buying and after seeing Sarah's presentation, decides to reach out to her for more information. Whether you're helping a seller list their home at the right price, helping a buyer understand their commute times to work, or emailing your contacts local neighborhood information, Boxy Present is the MLS-connected storytelling tool you need to attract and win more business. Contact us to get Moxie Present for your entire brokerage, and you can visit... Okay, guys, so that is the Moxie Works um, platform. So I'm going to go over this today. Um, so they even mentioned a couple of really great points about this program um, before I even showed you guys, but it is a live presentation that you guys are creating. So I know you guys have been on listing presentations. Sometimes the neighbor will say, oh, like, how come you didn't include my neighbor that sold six months ago? Or how come you didn't include this comparable? If you're on hotspot, you brought your computer, you can actually pop up that comparable live on the spot versus when you guys are on Stratus and then you're sitting there in that in your client's uh, kitchen and being like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot to get that comparable. And now you're kind of stuck there. You don't know anything about this house. This program allows you to go to a listing presentation. And if they do want a comparable, you can add it on the spot and go through that comparable with them as well. So this is a really great platform that you can literally bring your presentations with you wherever you go. Um, it's all on your computer, it saves them. You can see here, you can organize all of your presentations um, and always have them. So you can go back on the comparables. But anyways, let's learn how to use this guys. So again, if you're just tuning in, feel free to log into my.hub21.ca if you wanna follow along. We will go through a bunch of these stuff at some point, but not today. Um, C21 Engage is your CRM program. Uh, C21 Present is what we're talking about today, so your presentations. My website is where you guys can edit your brand new website. My listings is where you can organize your listings that you guys have on the market. C21 Marketing Center, um, this is where all of your marketing materials are for any listings that you get or any solds. 
And then I've got the lead Voyager here. This is how you can organize all the online leads that go to your website. So if they're filling out any forms, any contact information, they would go here. And then C21 Promote allows you to connect your Facebook business page to uh, this platform and you can create uh, Facebook ads. So feel free to go dive into this program guys and just push some buttons. Um, if you have any questions about any of them, feel free to let me know. Um, there's tons of training videos out there on the Campus 21 platform as well. Um, so take a look at it. But today we're going to do presentations. Okay, so as you can see, there's a button up here called Create New. So here there's different presentation types that you guys can select. So this one's for your buyers. We've got seller presentations. We have buyer tours and non-listings. So the buyers, so maybe you guys took out a client, they saw a property they were interested in, um, or maybe you've got a past client, you wanna let them know what their house is worth. This is where you can create a CMA for your buyer clients. Um, any sellers, maybe you're going on a listing presentation, or maybe you already had a listing presentation, they decided not to list. This is where you can actually create a full CMA as well as include your listing presentation um, slideshow. So if you're going to be doing a full presentation, you can attach a presentation to your CMA on this, and I'll show you guys how. And then the buyer tour, which is a really cool tool that you guys could be using. Um, this one actually allows you, maybe you've got showings on Saturday. You're taking your brand new clients to go see five properties. You can actually send your clients a full detailed map of all of the uh, houses that you're going to be taking them to on the Saturday. It maps out an outline of what your day is going to look like. And then your clients have the opportunity to be in their car and look at the listings that you guys are going to be touring. So these are all really great tools for you guys to really differentiate yourself from all of the other agents that are out there. Um, we all have access to this beautiful MLS Stratus. Um, all 70,000 of us agents have access to it. So this new presentation is really going to help you stand out if you're competing because now your CMA looks beautiful. Um, you can email this, you can um, print it as a PDF, you can do whatever you want with this. So I really highly encourage you guys to really dive into this program. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to do, let's just say we're going to do a buyer presentation because we're going to send these out to our past buyer clients and let them know what their house is worth. So you're going to click on buyer. You're going to click next. And you're going to see that there's a few different options for you. So no template is something that you guys can create. Maybe you guys create your own template. Maybe you don't want a template. The default buyer one is just simple. It's just your quick CMA. If you guys are going to be doing a buyer presentation, uh, maybe you're meeting with new buyers, you can actually include a full 27 page buyer presentation in this package as well. So you can do a comparable and then go over the CMA as well. So you can just talk about what it's going to be like to buy with you. So again, dive in deep to the presentations and see if it's something that you guys can add into your business when you're meeting with new clients. Okay, let's click continue. Okay, so we're gonna do, I picked out a couple listings um, that we're gonna look at so I can show you guys. So we're just gonna call this breakfast club. I would probably do like whatever the street name is or maybe your client's names on there. And then you're gonna click create. Now, typically I don't like to do these how-to videos. So I'm really hoping that you guys can watch this video and then go back um, and then check out it on your own time. It is a very simple tool for you guys to use. Okay, so you're gonna hear, uh, see this part. So this is the subject property. So this is the property that we're gonna be comparing to. I went ahead and selected this house here. So what you can do is go right back to um, Stratus, go find the MLS number of the property, or maybe you have it already written down. Um, or you can put the location. The reason I want to do a copy and paste of the um, of the MLS number is because it's actually going to pull all those details automatically for me from MLS. If you're doing a location, it's not going to pull as much details from there. So that's why I'm going to highly recommend that you guys copy and paste the MLS number right here. You can see that it posted and pulled the photo from the MLS system. And then we're going to continue. Oh, sorry. So on this search too, I swear it had a little bit more details on. Oh, this is because it's a buyer presentation. Okay. So the seller one actually has a little bit more details on it, which is okay. This one we're going to keep simple. 
So what you're going to see is it's got the location, you, a map pulls up, and this program is actually going to think, and it's going to pull the what they think is the comparables for you. So the computer is actually doing it for us. So it will take a little bit of time. But this is a little bit different than um, Stratus, where you have to individually select everything yourself. You must be finding lots of comparables for us. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that did not work. <laughs> Let's try this again, guys. I'm going to start a whole new one. I did a practice round on this too. Okay, let's create new. I'm going to try this one. Okay, breakfast club. Off to a great start. Okay, create. And it does take some time, guys, to think. I don't even think it's just my computer. I think all the computers does it. Um, it does take a little bit of time to collect the data. Okay, so now we're going to paste the MLS number. We're going to click Copy. And then it pulls the data. Now this, you can see here, it's got the address. And then it pulls all of the information from MLS. So it's got the lot dimensions, got the square foot of the house, the taxes a whole bunch of details about the home, uh, when it's sold, what it's sold for, all the good stuff. So we're gonna click continue. And now it's gonna pull. So you can see it pulled up the map. This happened a lot faster. Okay, perfect. So you can see this is the location of the home. And these are the four comparables that it selected automatically for me. Um, they actually sorted it by distance. So you guys can actually sort it by the date listed. You can go by if they're on the market. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. So I'm gonna try a date listed. And probably if you were on the MLS system, you would probably do a map search. So you can actually draw um, the location that you would like to review. So I'm just gonna draw out a map of where I want the comparables to come from. And you can see that it still selected the four there as well. So these all do look like decent comparables. Um, sometimes if you do have another property that has more comparables in the area, it will pull them for you. But these are the foremost. And honestly, that's all you really need, especially if you're just sending a quick CMA mail out to your past clients. You just need four or five uh, recent sales. So we don't need a whole bunch. So what I'm going to do, so it did pull them. Now I'm going to pick which ones I want. So this one looks comparable. And of course, you guys know the houses best, so you will know which ones are comparable or not. So I'm going to select these four. Um, you can go through the details of them if you would like as well. So you can get a good idea of the photos. These are all the comparables. It's really awesome because it pulls it so quickly from MLS. It will tell you the details of it when it's sold. You can get a good idea of how um, much it looks like the comparable that you're using. And you can click through all of these. Um, you can also sort if you only want to have five bedrooms, if you want three baths, you can sort by price. Um, if you don't like that it's pulling it for you, you could actually go as far as going on Stratus, finding your own comparables, and then plugging in the MLS numbers of those. If you like the look of this, but you're not so comfortable using this platform and you want to manually do it, you can hand select the MLS numbers and copy and paste them as your comparables as well. So just to keep it easy for you. Okay, so now we've got our comparables and all we're going to do is click next. So you'll see here, um, it's got a summary of all the active properties. So, oh, I only selected two, let's go back. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to include all of these. Sorry. We're going to go back. So you can see how you can kind of go back and forth pretty easy. So here's our subject property. And then here's all the four comparables that we selected. Now you can add your own remarks on here. If for some reason, maybe you guys have, I don't know, an extra parking spot or like an extra bathroom in that house, you can minus or subtract um how much you think that's worth so if there is any adjustments you guys can add, adjust what you guys have or don't have from the property maybe it has a finished basement 
maybe it doesn't. And you can add all of these fine little adjustments in here to help you come up with a price. On this map here, you're gonna see the lowest of the homes are selling for about 1.235. On average, it's about 1.306. Um, and on the high end, it's 138. So if you are trying to give your clients a range, this is a good idea. You could say 1.2 to 1.3. Um, all of these houses are all the same size. This is what the recent sales, this is what they actually purchased the property for. So you can see that they've made quite a bit of money um, just from looking at this comparable. So we've got that there. We're going to click continue. If you want to add more listings, you can go back as well. If you want to get rid of any, you can do that too. Now, this is where you're going to come in. So this just pulled like what we spent. So based on this pricing stats, and based on the average sales, you can see that the average price of sold properties is 1.306. So you could give this to your clients and you can actually put it here. You can also create a range. So this is up to you and how confident you are in your pricing abilities, but you're just sending a quick CMA. So this is possibly for your past clients. You could be doing it for a seller, but you would just put a range of what you think the home is worth. You can enter remarks about this estimated pricing um, if you want to let them know why you picked that pricing, and then you can go from there. So this is a really great chart here. You just click continue and literally you guys are done. So now, now that you've got your comparables, you're going to select which part, like what you guys want to actually send to your client. So there's all these different pages. So this is if you're going to do a presentation. In our case, we're just going to be doing a quick CMA. So we've got a title page, which is great. We want to include that. So the property summary is just summarizing um, the, the subject property and what it pulled from MLS. So we want to keep that. I like to keep the listing location map. What's great about this, guys, is you can actually click on the comparables and go through them again. So you can select the photos and your clients can also do this as well. So it's a really, really great tool. So I would keep the listing map. Listing overview just adds all the comparables. So one, two, three, and four into one little spot. Again, it is clickable. Um, some of your clients may like a side-by-side -side comparison. Maybe you guys like a side-by-side. -side. So you've got, this is kind of like what we have on the Stratus system as well. So you've got your subject property, comparable one, two, three, and you guys can compare it in a side-by-side -side chart. So you can be like, okay, we're all the same square footage. Here's how many bedrooms we have. This is what they listed it at. And if you were in front of them, you could go individually, but otherwise I would just it's all set up, it's all organized for you. I would just send this right off. So I would include this page for sure. Status comparisons. So this is just showing um, the square footage, what it was listed at, what it's sold for. So it's just, again, another way to show um, the comparables and how they compare to each other. Listing averages, you would like just to show them like how many um, days on the market the average is what the low end of their selling price could be and what the high end of the selling can be. And you can see here that the ones that were priced a little bit higher were on the market a little bit longer. So you can use this to really show your clients if you're gonna list their property, um, the importance of listing appropriately. Okay, days on market again. Um, if you can show them this chart here, I know Claire has probably showed this as well, but this will show how many days on the market it's been and what the price point is. So again, you can see that the lower, like the better the price, if it's over listed, it's going to stay on the market longer. The price, the properties that were listed appropriately sold quicker and for even more money than this one. Um, you no price and size is not there. So I would actually probably delete that page. I don't want to include that on my analysis. And then the pricing analysis, this is where um, it shows that range that I put in that box there. So your clients will see this. This is what the approximate value of your home is. Net proceeds, I would actually probably take that out as well. And then I've got your agent profile. So your contact information will show up as well. And then you're pretty much done. So what you're going to do is now that you're done all your presentation, you're pretty much finished. So you guys have already created your presentation. Now all you're gonna do is click view 
And you have options here. So you can view it as a website. You can save it as a PDF. Um, in this case for um, timing, let's see, we're gonna do the print PDF because I think this one's a little bit quicker. So now your CMA is complete. And honestly, guys, this is a lot quicker than um, the one that I have taught you guys on the Stratus system and a lot prettier. So it's gonna generate it. A lot of data. Almost there. Almost there, guys. <laughs> so it's pulling it, it's pulling it, and now it's created your PDF all for you. So there's a few things that you guys can do with this. Okay, so this is what it's going to create. So again, you've got options. So this is a PDF. So you guys can download this and print it. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So that's the cover photo. Um, there's the property subject. There's the map. There's the side by, or sorry, there's just like a little summary. And then you've got a comparable page for each listing that you selected. So this is PDF. So you can't select this one. If we chose the website one, which I will show you guys. Um, so your clients have the opportunity to look at the photos in there. Um, so they can really compare their house to their neighbors. It's got all the details of all of the comparables. So I'm gonna keep scrolling. Perfect. And then at the end here, we've got our approximate value, what we think it's worth. And then at the end, it's got your contact information. So like I said, there's so many different things that you guys can do with this. You can print this in color. You can get it laminated. You could bring it to your listing presentation. You can print this and mail it out to your past clients. Um, you can email this to your clients if you want to email them the PDF. Um, like you saw here, you can actually um, create just a website. So if you do want to email it to them, um, this is what it would look like. This is a different property, actually. But if you owner, let's see if I can actually just show you guys the web just to keep it consistent. So this is what the presentation will look like if you emailed it to them as a website. You would literally just copy and paste this link and send it to your clients. And your clients can have a more interactive experience. So you can either do a boring PDF or you can email them this beautiful website. It's the exact same layout, but the difference between um, this and the PDF is you can actually um, scroll over the pieces. So again, if your clients were like, hey, I wanna see what this one looked like inside, your clients can click on it. So if you do wanna send it in website form, and I think on that video that I, got, I showed you guys, um, you can actually send this to your clients and maybe some of them will post it onto their Facebook page and share it with their friends and then have your contact information all over it. But there's quite a bit of ease with this project. Now, if you guys do prefer to do the CMA mail out um, manually from Treb, you can, but you can see that it didn't take me too much time um, to actually do this one. It's very simple for you guys to do. Um, and that's pretty much it for the CMAs. Um, does anyone have any questions? <laughs> and I didn't show you guys, but the buyer one looks very similar as well. Um, if you guys want to add in the presentation part, uh, let's see if I could show you guys that. So on C2N present, you're going to see um, your presentations probably. Mine will be a little bit different, but you can see it will save it. It will save all your presentations. There is a library of um, different presentations that you can create yourself. So if you have a custom presentation that you guys use, you can add all of your templates in here. I will show you what the brokerage ones look like. Um, so there's an editable listing presentation. Um, there's a pre-listing presentation and there's buyer presentations. There's a whole bunch. You can see that some of them are in French as well. I'll let you guys view it so you can see what the presentation looks like. And you guys can edit this as well. So you guys can actually have the option to add it to your presentation. 
going to go back here for a sec. So if you guys want to go back and you want to edit it, you guys can add um, a full presentation here. If you guys wanted to add from the library, you can see that we've got the brokerage one. So if I was for some reason doing a listing presentation, you can go to the listing presentation profile and you can see that it has like the why you're here, why they should hire you, the three P's, there's the full presentation. You can select which um, forms you want. This is what it would look like. So you can edit it on that platform. So if you are doing a full CMA, you may do this presentation before you do the CMA and say, okay, this is why I'm here. Um, this is my listing presentation, why they should value you as an agent. What are your goals? So this is where you're gonna ask the clients what their goals are. Um, I didn't think I was going to do the listing presentation stuff, but just in case you guys are doing the CMA with the listing presentation, then um, this is where you guys edit it. Let me know if you guys do have questions on that stuff, but this is again where you would add in all those different um, things that you want to do to your presentation, and then it would just add it to this presentation here. So if you are going to be doing a listing presentation with them, you can set it up that way, or you could just be doing CMA mail outs. There's a whole bunch of different stuff that you guys can do with this um, C21 Engage. Okay, let's see if I got some questions. Um, when we do a price adjustment, is there a price guideline as to what an extra kitchen would cost, so on and so forth? Um, I do actually one of our agents, he's an appraiser and he did give me um, a little outline of what certain things can be worth. Um, I think that would be something subjective as well. So it would be completely up to you what you think that extra kitchen is worth um, a bathroom, it could be like $8,000, let's say garage, they did teach us this stuff in school as well. I don't personally have the guidelines, but I could see if I could find, I think it was Ron Foster who gave me a sheet of what uh, an appraiser uses. So I could try to find that for you guys. Okay, when doing a CMA, what is the length of time for showing comparables? Uh, that's a great question. So when you're doing your comparables, I would say six months is probably pushing it. Usually I'd probably say about three months, but it depends on how many comparables. So I would do three months to start. If you can't find any good comparables in that time frame, I would either extend the time frame to maybe six months, um, or I would extend the area a little bit as well. But three to six months, I would say, is is enough. Um, if you are going to go further than that, even a year back, um, you may have to do an HPI because the as you guys know, the prices change so much month by month. So keep an eye on what's happening in the market. And also you're going to have to use your own knowledge of what you know is what's happening um, out there because some months we, we noticed that there was a lag, some it was hot. So this is a really good um, opportunity. You guys really do have to pay attention to what's happening in each month so that when you are selecting your comparables, you can explain what was happening in that month to your clients. Is subject property MLS if OK, so if the house was not on MLS, you can just put the address in into that platform. So if you are just going by addresses, um, you can do that. And then you guys can select the comparables for sure. It just won't pull up the data of your subject property unless you're manually typing it in. So if it hasn't been on MLS before, um, try to fill in that, those details as best as you can. Um, you guys can go back into the archives when you guys are looking. So when you are searching for a subject property, it was on the market a while ago, just select archived and then it should pull back as many years as possible. So do your best to try to find it. Um, but if not, it's just all manual. Um, Shinor, please explain the web email option. Yeah, so if you guys wanted to email this, um, you can either send if they are on your, um, sorry, if they are on your CMA or on your CRM, you can actually email it to them. Um, if you don't have it on your CRM um, through, like if you guys aren't using C21 Engage as your CRM, you can view it as print and send it as an email attachment as a PDF, or 
you can go to the web when you're doing web. So this one, for example, is web. All you have to do is copy this link and paste it into an email over to your clients. Okay. Any other questions? Let's see. Okay, so do we have the same presentation CMA on MLM too? No, so not this presentation. You can, so I do, if you guys go back, if you guys don't like this platform at all, I have created a CMA um, Systems for Success, which is how to create the CMA um, on MLS. So I go through each step-by-step -step here on how to create a CMA. So if you notice you guys are on Stratus or Matrix, whatever you're using, there is a CMA button here as well. And you can, you can use this. Um, you can create a new CMA um, manually. I do find that the one on Stratus is more complicated. As you can see, when I use the Moxie Works one, it automatically pulled the comparables for me um, without me having to even draw a map. It just went based off that simple copy and paste of an MLS number. Now, the reason I would encourage you guys to also dive into this Hub 21 is because maybe you're competing against, say, a Remax agent or a Keller agent, a discount agent out there, even like right at home. They don't have this platform like you guys have. So if there's if you're going up to a listing presentation and competing against two or three other real estate agents, you guys are literally all going to bring the same CMA because you all have access to the same data, the same platform, everything. The great thing about this Hub 21 platform is this already, it has the same data as all the other agents, but look how beautiful it is. So it stands out a lot more. It helps you look professional um, and it's just an easier way for you to, again, stand out. Can you change the estimated price based on your experience? Yes, um, you can change everything on this. Um, so if you guys go back, you can go to estimate. So if you are like, even if you're not confident, you can clear the range, but our jobs are to know the values. So um, I would definitely, you can change the range. This thing here, like this whole summary here even gives you what they think the house is worth already. So it's, it's already computer generated, but if you wanna use your own knowledge, you can adjust the range for sure on yourself. Um, yeah. Um, the other thing with this CMA, it does let you pick a range as well, so you can adjust it accordingly. Now, what I, again, if you guys were just tuning in, um, one of the great features about this is if you are doing a listing presentation live, say you're with your clients and they're like, hey, why didn't you include my neighbor down the street? And you're like, oh, crap. Like, And then you're kind of sitting on the spot like, oh, my gosh, like, why didn't I include it? And you're thinking about it. And then you go home and then they're like, why didn't they include it? You can bring your computer out if you're doing your presentation, hotspot it, use your client's um, internet, and you guys can go through this together and go back to the map and then see if you can find that comparable that they're talking about, add it. So let's see, maybe I'm gonna see if maybe it, like this guy, maybe they thought this was a comparable as well. So I was, and then I would just be like, okay, let's add that one in there as well. And then you continue. And now you've got five comparables. So again, if they had that random comparable, you've got your computer live in front of you, instead of looking like, like you can't get access to it because you just have your paper, bring your computer and then you guys can go through it, talk about why you didn't include it as a comparable. And then you're not left leaving that presentation feeling like, oh my gosh, I should have had that on there. Um, the way to access the file that I'm explaining this. Okay. So I'll show you guys where to get this document. So if you guys go to your century 21 email address, you'll see drive. When you guys log in, you guys should have, if you're using your century 21, you should have a C21 Percy Fulton files. You'll see here I have systems for success. And I have every systems for success that I've talked about with you guys. Today we are doing the CMA mail out. So you'll see CMA mail out for past clients. And when you open it, I have all the details of how to create a CMA on Stratus. 
Okay. Today, I didn't go through the Stratus one. I went through your new Hub 21 platform. Again, highly recommend that you guys all get used to it and use this as your presentations. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you guys another list of who you could be doing sending CMAs to. Um, so this can go out to all of your past clients who purchased a home through you, all of your past clients who leased a house through you. So maybe they leased a home and you want to let them know what properties um, are worth um, for them to purchase or what they can purchase. Um, this should go out to all of your landlord investment clients to remind them of what their houses are or what their investments are currently worth. All of the listing appointments you went on and didn't end up selling should get a CMA from you. Friends and family who you think may want to know what their house is worth today. Any leads that have told you that they're considering selling their home should get one of these. Um, and of course, your CMA is going to go to a listing presentation as well. Um, past clients who will not be receiving a CMA mail out um, are people who maybe just purchase in less than six months, unless the value of their home has gone up, then you would send it. If the value of their home has not gone up, I would not send any past clients this. I would just do a check-in, see how they're doing, um, and any leads who have not purchased yet. Um, if you need a list of all of your transactions, so maybe if you guys are not organized and don't have your database set up yet, feel free to contact Paige or Heather and they can print out your past sales. And these are all of your past clients and then put them in your database and try to come up with those two times a year to send this to them. What is the purpose of sending this to someone who leased it from you? I would send them, so maybe they're leasing in a condo, for example, um, and maybe they're thinking about buying. So what I would do is maybe just send them a list of all of the comparable, like all the recent sales in that condo maybe, let them know what they're selling for, do a quick, you can do a CMA for them, or maybe just even send them a simple market update. But all of your lease clients, hopefully the goal is for you to convert them into buyers at some point. Um, so I would definitely um, just send them, send your tenant something. So if you're not sending them a CMA or any market update, send them something. Um, a lot of people get into leases to start be with the hopes of them purchasing something. So you're just educating them and hopefully um, they can buy through you. Um, you can do the one on the least. I would more just do like the area or like a general market update. Okay. Anybody else have questions? Perfect. Not too many. Okay. Um, again, guys, I'm just going to go through this really quickly with you guys, just um, while I have you here. Um, so this is your C21 Hub 21. So you guys do have this amazing um, platform, your CMA. So if you guys haven't done your database, highly recommend um, getting your people on this database, mostly because these campaigns are actually pretty good. Um, they have hundreds of different campaigns that you can choose from. So one being your life at home magazine. Um, again, these are different ways of touch points. So today we're talking about CMA mail outs for past clients. This is another touch point as well. So you can actually set your clients up to receive these beautiful um, newsletters once a month. It gets automatically sent off to them. Um, so if you don't have your clients on um, an e-newsletter, this, this one will automatically do it for you. Um, you could be prospecting buyers. You could be doing prospecting sellers. So let's see. So if you've got a seller that you're that you're trying to um, get through the process, or maybe you've got um, I don't know, someone said that they mentioned they want to sell a house. They have a full drip campaign that you can set your clients up on selling their home. And by the time this one goes for 77 days. Um, so this just gives them ideas of what to prep for if they're going to sell their house, if they're going to buy a house. They even have um, some seasonal maintenance ones I saw. Holidays, if you want to get your clients on drip campaign for holidays, seasonal maintenance. This reminds your clients of different things to maintain their house with. After your clients have purchased a home, you can set them up to receive campaigns after the buyers have bought, after they've sold. Maybe you met with a brand new first time home buyer. You can set them up on a drip campaign as well. This one goes for 35 days. So it just talks about 
how to like buy their first home. So this is something that you would send them like after you met with them to talk about buying a home. So you guys can set your clients up to receive all of these pre-canned campaigns already. You can also send mass email. So eblast is basically just a mass email. Maybe you've got a new listing you want to share. So that's your CMA guys. Um, if they go to your website, they can sign up to receive neighborhood news from you. So again, if you're not organized to be able to do the CMA twice a year, I would sign your clients up to receive neighborhood news. Um, they can actually sign up through your website. If they go to your website, I know I'm throwing a lot at you guys, so bear with me. This is your brand new website you guys can customize. Um, but yeah, if you're not going to get on top of sending your clients what's happening in their neighborhood, you can sign them up to receive neighborhood news and it will send them an email, I believe once a week to let them know um, how, like what new listings are popping up, any market changes, what the prices are like in their area and all of that. They just have to put their postal code in there. Um, so that's neighborhood news. Um, your websites can all be edited through my website. I'll pop that one there. So if you guys want to customize this website, this is what all of your sites should look like. But if you do want to customize it, add any new photos, then you can definitely do that. Um, C21 Marketing Center is on this. So if you guys need marketing materials for any of your new listings, sold, whatever type of marketing you can think of, it's there. So we've got postcards, social media bricks, um, they even have door hangers, newsletters, any type of marketing um, templates that you guys need. Or it's also on this Hub 21 platform. Lead Voyager. So like I said, if anyone comes to your website to sign up for, um, let's say, like the neighborhood news, all your leads will show up on this platform and it will remind yourself to like organize them, add them to your database. We can go through all this for hours. And then C21 promote where you can actually launch, um, connect it with your Century 21, sorry, your business page. And if you want to do any paid ads, you can create all of the Facebook ads directly through this platform. It'll help you target your audience and you can send reports to your clients if you're doing any of your just solds. Um, and then they can get added to your um, C21 engage. So there's quite a bit of tools. Again, my.hub21.ca. Um, you guys should all um, be logging into this and really playing around, especially with what we just talked about today. Uh, the door, sorry, the marketing center. Let's see, I just had it. The marketing center is at the top there. So if you click on it, um, like here's the door hanger, for example, you just click it. And if you put the MLS number in or you have a new listing, um, you can actually select this design and you can create this. You can add whatever photos you want um, and then you can get it printed. So it does create your door hangers for you and then you insert the photos there. So again, guys, click around in this platform. Um, if you guys are really confused because I just threw everything at you guys. If you guys go to campus21.tv, there is tons of videos on how to use this Hub21 platform. Um, you guys just use your Century 21 login. Um, so like, for example, if you guys wanted to watch the marketing center, um, and how to use it, there's all these videos they are pretty quick too. They're only like two minute videos. So if for some reason you wanted to learn how to edit a project or create a marketing package, everything's on here for you guys. Same thing with the CMAs. It's all on there as well. Um, there's stuff on the C21 Engage and how to get started with that. So log into your Camps 21 TV as well so that you guys can um, get familiar with a lot of these tools. Uh, yes, MLS numbers do work if it's past two years. So that one I did with you guys was actually, I think, almost four years old, actually. Um, number from it should work um, from 2015 it should but um, send it to me and I'll see if I can try perfect guys well that's almost our hour up there I'm going to stop sharing does anyone have any last minute questions before we log off um, if you guys are having troubles with it let us know and we're happy to um, walk you guys through any of these things
Um, how do I log into Campus 21? It's campus21.tv. Um, you got, if you've never logged into it before, you will have to create a profile. So you may have to do like a forgot my profile. Um, I will attach it in the Facebook group, the picture. If you guys have never logged into Campus 21 TV, the first time you have to do something special. So I'll put the photo of the, what you need to do to log into Campus 21 TV, but it is a really great platform. Um, you can learn so many different topics on Campus 21 TV, marketing, social media, business planning, and of course, like all the Hub 21 tools as well. Perfect, guys. Okay, send me an email if you guys need any help, and we'll see you guys soon. Um, I do want to let you guys know in two weeks on the 25th, we do have another live um, session with a special real estate coach. Um, it will be uh, probably around 1030, same time on the 25th. Um, I highly encourage you guys to all come to it. It is a Richard Robbins coaching session. Um, and we're going to teach you guys a bunch of stuff. So keep an eye out for emails for that live breakfast club in two weeks. Okay. See you later, guys.